Let's take a closer look today at the Paul Rubens watercolors. To begin with, it comes so cutely packaged. Everything is pink in color and I was sold just by that, but the watercolor quality is also very top notch. The case comes with an extra space where you can mix the colors and all of the 12 paints included come individually wrapped. It's almost as if you're opening a box full of candy. So I bought myself the set of 12 shimmery metallic colors and I absolutely love this. I wish I'd bought the larger set. They also have a 24 color set. I think even a 36 color set on Amazon. I'll link them all down below in the description box. These paints are so shimmery and vibrant in color. They sit beautifully on top of black paper. This is my favorite way of using them. I just paint simple florals. I don't use a lot of water. I use just a damp paintbrush and I add a lot of paint to the paper and you can see how it stands out boldly on top of black paper as well. The sketchbook I'm using here is an Archer Olive Blackout Notebook. It's actually a dot grid paper. It's not meant to be used for watercoloring. So by adding very little water and a lot of paint, I'm able to keep the paper flat and get that really nice shimmery effect with the watercolors. So when you tilt it to the light, you can really see how shimmery these paints are. I'm not doing any kind of magic here. It's just a simple painting, but the colors are so beautiful that the flowers look special on the paper. This was one of the first paintings I painted and I kind of treated it like a color swatch and I used all of the colors that came in the set. The quality of the paints are super impressive and the color range is just a pretty pastel color set. They're shimmery, they're metallic of course, but I like that there are reds and golds and greens and blues, a lot of color variation. If you enjoy keeping a dark grid journal that's not white paper, like if you like the craft paper or the blackout paper, this color set is really nice to use in it and I would actually recommend that you buy the larger size, the 24 color one, because that is actually totally worth the money. Here's another example in which I use the same paints but I'm painting on a white dark grid paper. You can use these paints on watercolor paper as well. I've used them mostly in my dark grid journals because I like to see these shimmery colors there. You guys will see that my florals are very simple. They're basically doodled using a paintbrush. For me, this is just a 20 minute creative break. I like keeping a journal. I like keeping a dark grid journal especially and just creating simple art in it. Using colorful paints makes it that much more special. The best part of this is just that when you tilt it to the light, you see the way it shimmers. The light catches it and reflects. It's just so beautiful. Here's another example and this time again I'm using a black dot grid paper and a really teeny tiny paintbrush to letter a quote. I'm using two colors of paint here, the green and the blue from the set. And each time my paintbrush runs out of paint, I alternate between them. This creates a seamless color blending. It looks greenish and bluish. It just adds so much interest. And of course, the shimmery colors look beautiful on top of the black. In this last example here, I'm doing something even more simpler if possible. I'm just coloring a whole area with the gold color. You can choose any one color from the set and color the whole area once it dries, use a pen to letter your quote or anything else you need to on top of it. I love how this shimmers every time I turn the page. It is super satisfying. Hope you enjoyed today's video friends. I shared a couple of examples using these shimmery Paul Rubens watercolors. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this and I'll have more inspiration on my blog smilingcolors.com. I hope to see you all here again with another video. Till then, happy crafting friends.